I am joined now by Raman Venkatesh, the Executive Vice President and COO of SAE. Raman, we're here in person. How does it feel? Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> yes. uh, you know, it is so great to be here after three years. We're having this meeting in Detroit, and so it, we're just delighted to be here. Gosh, it's just been such a strange few years, and it certainly, uh, has. certainly your organization has had to do a lot of adjusting to this pandemic. So talk to me about those changes. Yeah, we uh, recognized early on uh, when the pandemic uh, was starting that as an organization, we need to pivot early to a digital first reality. So what I mean by digital first reality is programs, products, and services that SE offers need to pivot to a primary digital offering supplemented if needed with a physical uh, presence. So this pivot actually helped us in many ways because we pivoted in all of our products, programs and services and we delivered almost seamlessly I would say uh, during the midst of the pandemic all the uh, services that our stakeholders and our customers are used to getting. So I think that, that was one of the, uh, the important changes that we did right in the early stages of the pandemic. Kind of nice to find out what you're capable of, right? Sure. <laughs> so if I'm reading you correctly, you kind of found a balance between the digital and the in-person? Correct, and the balance, uh, we, we recognized that we need to have a, a hybrid model. We, we anticipated that the world is going to come to a, a hybrid state. So uh, we were already very good at delivering physical products and services, in, for example, an event like this, which is a physical event, right? We, what we did was we amplified the impact of such physical products and services with a strong digital component. So we have, I mean, take this event for example, it's also offered uh, digitally. Uh, people can, uh, many people have registered digitally around the world to attend WCX. So that pivot, or, or the ability to manage both the physical and the digital is making a huge difference for us. So Raman, what is the emerging future of mobility? The way I like to think of the future of mobility is, is along three C's, if you will. Uh, first is uh, uh, connectivity, second is convergence, and third is collaboration. So connectivity refers to a wide-ranging ecosystem where a vehicle is part of, and you're talking about data and voluminous amount of data that's generated within the vehicle, across the infrastructure, and how a vehicle is not a standalone element, but it's part of an ecosystem. So that's, that's an important part of the future of where uh, mobility is going. So connectivity is very important, and data is gonna play a central piece there. The second one is about convergence. Uh, convergence refers to various technologies Within SAE, our staff call it the Elite 10. What we mean by that is 10 technologies or areas that we have recognized as instrumental for the future of mobility. It's not about any one technology, but it's about various technologies converging together to form a, a superior experience for, our, for the mobility users and customers in the marketplace and also for the companies that are engaged in the ecosystem. And convergence also refers to convergence across multiple sectors. So for example, mobility has got automotive, a commercial vehicle, as well as aerospace. And all three sectors are in some ways converging in this future because a lot of the technology challenges and where the user expectations are, are also converging. So convergence refers to that element as well. And then the last one is collaboration. You know, you know even as recently as five years ago, Nobody would have thought the kind of companies that uh, automotive, aerospace, and commercial vehicle companies would have to engage with. Now the kind of partnerships that are forming, those partnerships are incredible. I mean, these are partnerships with primarily software companies, social media companies. So the entire future of mobility is going to also be influenced by how these collaborations are playing out. So It's very exciting. It I, certainly is. Yeah, thank you so much for sitting down with us today, Roman. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.